And Cassandra, you're up. So uh, I want to introduce you to my friend Cassandra Bartow. So here's a LinkedIn view of Cassandra. Cassandra is um, a program director uh, for the Canadian Red Cross. And um, I'm so pleased that she could be with us today because she is responsible for much of the Canadian Red Cross's COVID response initiatives. So Cassandra is just going to tell you a little bit about her story. This is unscripted. I have no idea what she's going to say. So Cassandra, welcome. Thank you, Christopher. Appreciate it. Um, can everyone hear me okay? Yes, okay. Uh, so this is uh, my, my second stint, I guess, at uh, you know the responsibility community. I joined uh, when I was much uh, younger, actually, and earlier in my career. Um, and I, you know, I've, I've kind of explained in my blog that it was with the mindset of more of that, that checklist, you know, you're, you're trying to move up in the organization, you have the certifications, you have the programs. And so it was one of those opportunities to, you know, build another certificate, gain more experience and, and kind of hit that next checklist, uh, in terms of, of growth. Um, and then I actually, you know, left the community for a few years, but it was funny how, um, whenever there was a problem or something would come up. I would always reference the responsibility process and I would always speak to it and I felt connected to it. And so uh, over the last year, I've actually rejoined um, the immersion uh, process. And so I've gone through that program again. And I think something that's really powerful about this program is the fact that it's the community of people and the calls where you're really getting that daily practice and it's not just being open and transparent yourself uh, with your own struggles, but it's also hearing what other people are going through and also just taking the opportunity to listen to the questions that Christopher and other members are asking. It's truly a really supportive um, kind of uh, group and, and community where you can continue to practice. And so um, I will continue <laughs> being a part of that community uh, just because it is something that you will constantly practice uh, and you know you, you do need to check in from time to time um, and you know being with a, a group I can say that you know there is um, you know there are no stupid questions you you know you feel incredibly supported by the team and, and you know it's amazing how from a personal experience to your career how individuals open up with their own experiences um, of which are all very relatable um, so you know just the, the let me let me ask you, how has your life changed? How have you changed your life with responsibility thinking? Yes, um, so I can say, you know, my, uh, a recent example, because you, you know, you were asking for, you know, an example. Um, a recent example was with regards to COVID, actually. Um, and so I know it's changed a lot of our lives, um, but I was uh, three weeks into my director position, and COVID peaked, uh, and my department was solely focused on uh, projects that are funded from a specific budget that all went to on hold because there were no more resources in the organization and everyone pivoted towards COVID response. So my, all of a sudden, my department went from you know, thriving and, and we're a cost recovery team, so we, we have to be uh, recovering those costs. Um, and it went to nothing. And so you have sheer panic, the anxiety, the control cycle um, come, kicks in. And I think what was really great about that and how it's changed my life is what you mentioned at the beginning, Christopher, about uh, what do I want, um, what do I want to do about that? And how do I choose my response? Because internally, I had that conflict of the control process, which I've learned through the immersion, um, and we practice and we always reference on a regular basis with our groups. Um, and I really sat there and said, I can't control this situation. Um, and I could sit here in this cycle for as long as I possibly can and probably stew and not succeed. Or I can just trust and observe and look and see and gain some clarity around what are opportunities in something that could be very negative for me. It was, you know, like I said, three weeks in, I had an entire team I was responsible for. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is more than I was <laughs> kind of ready to, to bite off. And so um, what's wonderful about that is I trusted that it would be okay. I looked for opportunities. Um, and now, five months later, um, we're actually looking to, uh, we're not only supporting 
100 million portfolio within the um, public safety and the federal government granting, um, but I'm overseeing projects that are no longer in a uh, the bucket of um, specific capital technology projects. It's actually enterprise wide, wow. um, not only for myself, but my team members. I was able to elevate the change management team within me. Um, I use the responsibility process to coach one of my fellow managers um, to say, you can look at this as a negative, or we can decouple some of the components we were doing to inject change management into the organization and those, uh, those principles into these other projects that are now happening because of COVID. And we can still get the value, but it's about the clarity of saying, this is how it once was. Now, what do I need to do to change that? And we can still get to that end result or get benefits of that end result, but maybe a different path and a different way. And so it was an amazing opportunity for me to take what I've learned um, and apply that not only to myself, but also to my colleagues. And so I think it's something that's so powerful and I have the responsibility process uh, poster and the uh, control cycle um, right by my desk, <laughs> right by my vision board by my desk. And I really had to look at that daily. I also have Christopher's uh, live with intention <laughs> um, kind of posted there as well. And, and um, I, I reference that daily. And I think it's so important um, because it's not necessarily like it's not uh, content that's necessarily, you know, revolutionary. There are many different books. There are many different studies. Um, but I think the community portion, the simplistic um, tools that Christopher and his team has put together to keep us mindful and keep us responsible really make it easy to apply to your day to day. And so that's my, you know, how it's really changed my life. So Thank you. I'm, uh, a lot of growth. Thank you so much. And you show up so much more powerfully than when we first met. You're so much more clear, definitely deserve the leadership role that you negotiated. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely.